Hi guys, welcome back to the Artist Server. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on the HP Z840. I'm about to upgrade the processors on my Z840, and before I do that, I want to make sure I have the latest BIOS that has the you know uh, processor microcode and all that stuff. And so I want to make sure that I have the latest BIOS on this machine. And I was thinking about this and how I wanted to make this video. Uh, I know there's actually a couple other videos on YouTube already showing how to update the BIOS on the HP Z840. Uh, that one was in particular using Windows. And there is also a way to do the update via Linux, which is, you know, as you guys know, if you're watching my channel, you know I often run Fedora Linux. And I could show you guys how to do that too, but then I thought, you know, probably the most valuable way to show this is to be kind of uh, operating system agnostic. And so there is a way to update the BIOS without having an operating system installed at all. Now I am currently booted up on my Fedora 33 installation that's in this machine right now, but you don't need this necessarily to do what I'm about to show you. You just need any kind of operating system and a, a USB flash drive where you're gonna put the BIOS update file, uh, the image file on this USB drive in a particular way. And then you can update the BIOS on the Z840 through the UEFI. So that's what we're going to do today. And so to get started, I'm going to show you first of all where to download all this stuff and how to put that BIOS image file onto this USB drive. So first thing, uh, let me just plug this USB drive into the machine. And let's get onto the screen recorder so you guys have a better view of what's going on here. And I will show you what you need to download and how to place that file in that USB drive. All right, so first thing we have to do is actually download the BIOS uh, update. So you can basically go to, well, actually here is the HP Z840 how to update BIOS, right? And so this gets you to this play page. And right now it's automatically detected I'm running Linux here. So it's uh, chosen Linux as my operating system. And so under BIOS here, you will see the system BIOS for Linux, and you can down, go ahead and download that file. And I'll show you what that file is in a moment here, but also if you are not using Linux and you want to use uh, Windows, for example, so we can change this to Windows, for example, and I'll just say Windows 10 64-bit. And you'll have a similar um, selection here, but under BIOS, you will see Workstation System BIOS, it's the same version, it's just a different packaging. And I'll show you what this all looks like when you download that. So I've already pre-downloaded this stuff just in case, um, you know, in the middle of making a video, my internet connection goes down or something else goes on wrong. So I've pre-downloaded all this stuff anyway. Uh, so these are the, uh, well, just two of these files. So this one here, the .exe, is the Windows, um, packaging for the BIOS update. And that is basically a self-extracting EXE. So it actually extracts to this, um, the content that you see right here in this folder. And the other one is the 111048. And this is the Linux, uh, basically it's a tar gzip uh, archive. And if you extract that, you will get the contents that are in this folder right here. Now, either way, the way that I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS today doesn't really involve any of the other files that are included in here other than the BIOS image, which is this file here, the m60 underscore 0256.bin. That is the critical file that you're gonna need for the method that I'm gonna show you today. Now, if you are on Windows, and once you kind of do the self extraction on this uh, SP111049, you're going to find the same file uh, under the subdirectory or subfolder called HP BIOS uh, update REC. I don't know what that means, but uh, in here, anyway, you'll see this file. Now, there are other utilities in here that are meant for you to run within Windows to do the update from within Windows. And so you can do it that way as well. But let's say you just got an HP Z840 machine and you don't have anything installed on it, but you have a separate computer, a laptop or something like that. Then the method I'm gonna show you will probably be really useful because you don't actually have to install anything on your HP Z840 in order to do the BIOS update. So either way, you're gonna find this m60 underscore 0256.bin file. And that's basically all you need. So you wanna make sure that you have that file on whatever platform it is that you plan to use. 
in the Linux uh, world, if you want to do this update, by the way, it requires installing a kernel driver and then using a utility uh, called hp-flash or something like that in order to run the update uh, within Linux. But again, I'm not going to show that today because I want, to, I, I want this video to be uh, helpful to anybody who is, whether they're running Linux or Windows or anything else, so long as they have a computer where they can extract this BIOS image file, the m60 underscore 0256.bin file. And keep in mind, by the way, this 0256 is the version. So uh, if you're watching this video, uh, you know, several months or years later after there's a newer update, it might not be the exact same file name, but it'll be a similar format. All right. So anyway, as long as you have that file, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a uh, FAT32 formatted uh, USB drive and that's what I just plugged in earlier and that's actually my free DOS drive so you'll see that I have a free DOS drive here and I'll go ahead and open that in a tab all right so what you want to do here is create a couple of subfolder structures that the UEFI system in the Z840 is going to uh, recognize and so the first from the top level you want to create a folder called uh, Hewlett-Packard and I don't know if it's case sensitive, but I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you that make sure you spell it exactly the way you see it on the screen here. Uh, capital H E uh, W L E T T dash capital P A C K A R D. Okay. And then go into that uh, subfolder or that uh, folder and then create another subfolder called BIOS. And that's all caps B I O S. And then go in there and create another subfolder called new with a capital N lowercase E W. Okay. So once you have that, if you go into that subfolder, you want to make a copy of that BIOS update file. And that is the M60, in this case, the M60 underscore 0256.bin file. And as you can see, I've already uh, pre-done this uh, just to kind of get this going it's a little bit smoother. So anyway, I already have it copied in here, so I'm ready to go. But anyway, if you're doing this from scratch, make sure you have the folder substructure uh, like I just mentioned to you, the Hewlett-Packard slash BIOS slash new, and then make sure to put the BIOS update image file that you extracted earlier into this folder. All right, so once we have that, all we have to do now is reboot the machine, get into the UEFI uh, menu system of the system, and uh, I'll show you from there. So let me go ahead and just close this out and I'll extract my uh, or eject my USB drive here. And I'll go ahead and reboot. All right, guys, so here I am rebooting the machine. I see the HP logo and I'm pressing down F10 to make sure that I'm entering the setup menu. So it looks like my screen's gone into kind of a dimmed power save mode, but once we get into the setup menu, it should come back up. All right, here we are in the setup menu and I believe Right here says update system BIOS. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now, keep in mind, I have the USB drive that uh, we were just talking about earlier already plugged into the system. And I have the uh, BIOS image update in that specific folder substructure. And so we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And as you can see, my current BIOS version is a little bit older. Uh, the new one is the 256. So we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. Uh, of the uh, the options available here and click on update system BIOS and you can see that important BIOS update is available so it's basically as and then you can see right here BIOS update dot uh, two dot five six so it's basically detected that file on that USB drive and so we're gonna go ahead and click update BIOS right now and basically at this point you just have to sit back and relax and hope that there are no power outages All right, so it looks like we are done. We can go ahead and click on reboot. And hopefully this comes back up, all right. All right, the system powered on was basically blank and running for several seconds and then powered itself off and then powered on again, so. All right, there we go. And I'm going to hit F10 again to get into the uh, system setup menu. And hopefully we can confirm that the BIOS version is now up to date. 
And actually, I already kind of see it down here, but we'll wait to get into the UEFI menu. All right, so let's go ahead and look at system information and indeed check that out. Now we are on version 2.56 dated November 4th, 2020. All right, so it looks like we have the latest BIOS update applied successfully. All right guys, so hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, make sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I've got all sorts of server and workstation parts, and I'll leave a link to my store down in the video description below. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.